Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series, episode 4, Nested Routes. In this episode, we'll see how easy it is to implement nested routes in Ember.js by creating books details page. So, let's get started. So, we start from the UI. So, let's define links in books list component. So, let's open books list component. And here, right now, we just have a simple links. So, we'll use link to helper which will point to books, book, route. So that's the way we specify nested route. And this route takes one argument, the book itself, because we want to display the details of a particular book, right? And of course, we need to specify class, list, group, item, like this. After that, we have book title, as we did before. And after that, we need to close link to helper, like this. So now if you go to browser and try to go to the books, you'll see that we have an error. We do not have route books book. So let's define one. For that, we need to go to router file. And inside of this route books route, we define function callback. And inside of it, we define new route, which we call book. But this route also will take path and inside of this path, we can specify anything, but the most important thing that we want to specify is the argument book ID. So this will lead to something like this, books and ID three, for example. So this part of the books is coming from the parent route and three here is the book ID coming from the child route. So now we define it, let's go back to browser. We have no errors, excellent, but we have some problems with Oh, yeah, of course, Not, nothing like this, list group. Okay, so now if we go back, we're going back to normal, no errors, but now if you go to the details, nothing happens. But you can see that the active link is working, so our routes is working, and you can see they're changing right here. So now we need to define inside of this books template, the child template with the books detail right here. So for that, we need to go to books.hbs file in templates. And here in the second column, we'll add outlet. So instead of this outlet, the template of the nested route will be rendered. Let's save it. So now we need to define this template. As this template is nested in books template, we need to create a new folder called books. So if we go to our files here, as you can see, we, we are in templates, and inside of this templates we have books.hbs file. And we need to create new folder, books, and inside of this folder we'll create book.hbs. So you can see that the file structure mirrors user interface hierarchy. Okay, everything that we need to do in this route template is to render book details component. And of course, this component will need to have a book and we'll assign it from the controller's book, which we do not have yet. Let's save it. And let's define this book details component template. Again, we go to templates in components, we create book details dot HBS. So that's gonna be a very simple one. We just have this H1 and inside of it, we'll have book title. And after that, small tag by book author and then we'll have some kind of a div with book description easy as that so now let's go to browser and you can see that we have this by word that's nice so template and its component is actually rendering but we do not have any data so we need to define book in this book controller right and we do it in the route so let's explicitly define route. So we go to routes. And again, we have a nested route. And to define nested route, as we did with nested templates, we need to define it in the parent folder. In our case, that's going to be books and then book.js. So here is usual stuff. We import Ember from Ember. We export default Ember route extend. Standard stuff here. And again, we'll have model hook, which is the function, but now this function takes params object and that params object will have book ID attribute. So we return this store find book 
But now we need to specify the ID of the book that we want to return, and we do it with params dot book ID. And this book ID is actually coming from router right here. Okay, after that, we need to create setup controller. There's a function which takes controller and model. In our case, model is a book. And we have controller dot set book to be model. Let's save it. Let's go to the browser. And now you can see the details of our books. Excellent. If you refresh the page, it will fetch it and display the actual book. And now if we look into the network, you'll see that we only making one request to the server, books, and it returns all books from the server. And then when we switch in and go in from route to route, no other requests are made because Amber Data cached this collection and fetch data right from it, which makes an experience very desktop-like. How cool is that? And that's it for this episode. If you liked it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share it with your friends, or follow me on Twitter. If you want to ask any question or simply say hello, go to my blog, rhymesalytic.net. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.